Alrighty, good morning everyone. Zero one of one here. How's it going? Uh, we are chilling in our little cryopod under the station and looking down at the planet because reasons, I suppose. Um, and uh, yeah, and we're back doing this thing. Um, so I did do a little bit more work so you can see that we've got the flooring finished here. Uh, we've got this whole side is now completely uh, built and everything. We also have the jump uh, jump drive is built. And then all of our thrusters over here are also built. So in this episode, we can start working on these other sections in here and trying to figure out how we want these things to go in there. And uh, something I could do, because I have this little bit of space right here, is I could put my programming blocks in here. And then I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, finding some other place for them. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to need, though. But I guess we could start populating them, I suppose. Um, okay, so we'll do the doors first. Okay, copy, check, and good to go. All right. So that should shut all of the doors on here. And we will change this out. Give credit where it is due. Zero, two hundred, and zero, and three point five, and center. Good to go. And then we need the inventory manager. Okay, so we want to browse inventory manager. There we go. Copy, check. Okay. Okay. That is now doing its thing. All right. Um, let's see. So there's that. Okay. And then what else can we put in here? Uh, LCD, maybe? LCD mod would be a good one. Automatic LCDs two. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. another drone coming in and I need to make sure that it isn't going to come down and hit me in the head it looks like I should be fine okay good to go <clears throat> all right um let's see so that's all fine and dandy. And centered. And then text padding, I think, is what I need to do here. So if we do that and we move this up to like 10%, there we go. You know, 11 or 12% probably would have been better, but that's relatively centered in there, so I'm pretty good with that. Okay, so that's a few of the ones that we want. Um, we could probably also put in the Solar Manager, or AC Solar Script, because that has the, uh, the cool little thing for the batteries where it updates the, um, the name to show you like the percentage of charge and all that other good stuff. So we're going to throw that on here.
Okay, so that is good. And 3.5, 0, 0, 200. Center, good to go. Okay, so now we've got that one in here, and I don't know if I need any more than this. I mean, these are the four scripts that I use the most often, and to show you kind of like what this does, uh, if we take a look at our batteries, see, so now they all have percentages on here, and so it's really, really easy to see like what percentage they're at just by looking through here without having to click on each individual one and then try to figure out like a percentage based on the charge or state of charge or whatever. So even though I'm not planning on putting any kind of solar stuff on this ship, I mean, I probably could, but it would be kind of pointless if I have uranium, right? Um, so this is just really, really useful to see at a glance what all of your batteries are at. And you can see that most of them are all the way charged. So good to go there. Um, okay, so let's see, what else can I do? Um, okay, so having that fourth one there actually did kind of work out for me because now I can put in a four way and then have this go into the living area or I could move this up a little bit farther. I don't know, I can do something in here. And then we'll have this space up here for another room. Oh, and I checked the distance on this thing and we can jump 4,200 kilometers with this. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, and then we can also jump to any one of our asteroids to pick up whatever we need, uh, which is also going to be nice. Um, let's see. You know, it would be kind of interesting if instead of just like dying and resurrecting on a new planet, what if I legitimately traveled to that planet? And Mars would probably be closer, but like if we traveled to Mars and then like from Mars traveled over to there, I mean, we could create like some sort of like a drop pod or something on here so we could like build a base on uh, Mars, wherever that went to, down here. But there is also a moon over here. So I kind of want to go and check out that moon too. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any kind of good materials on there, but if I can find... Um, like platinum deposits or something like that, I think that would be, you know, pretty good. But I honestly, I have no idea what actually spawns on these things. But with this, uh, we can start um, figuring out kind of what we want to do for this and then also for this. Now, I had an idea for our living arrangements in here. So... So the idea is to have a cryopod and a bed for each, you know, little station. And then we can put, you know, a locker on one side of it, and then that would make kind of like a room, I guess. So to start that off, we're going to need to put in a T here. So let's get that in there. Okay, so T there, and then I'm going to need a cryopod. Okay, and I want you to go in here like that. So then each person will have their own cryopod, right? And then they'll also have a bed. And this is just like the general crew quarters. Like this isn't like, you know, anything super amazing. And then uh, after that, we can put in a locker. For them to store their things and then that locker will go there and then I can put something over here in the corner like uh, maybe an armory or something I think that might work armory this guy Yeah, and then this would be like one room, right? 
And then we can put in like a little tiny door, like an offset door. Uh, we can do that kind of in front like that. And then this would make one room, right? So they got guns, weapons, armor, personal belongings, place to sleep, and a place to heal if they need it. So something like this. And then, uh, let's see, this can go out like that. And then um, I'm going to need some sort of separation here. So maybe I suppose we might not need it. No, I think I think we are going to need the separation. So we're going to we're going to rotate the bed around. So that way we get a wall over there. And that way you can't go through here and then like click on someone else's cryopod and go through the wall, you know? So it'll just be kinda kinda like this. Yeah. I'm okay with this. Okay, and then um we would be and we can do this twice, I think. So then I can kind of cover this whole thing up with blocks. And then we can put another one up on top here. And then that would cover out to here. Or how would I want to do this? Because I still want to have like that, I guess, executive suite, I guess, is what we would call it. And it's just like a really, really, really nice room. So then we can do this, and then we can do that. Then we can do another door, and then another one of these, and then another door. And we'll go four, I think. That'll be good enough for now. Okay, and then that can go there, good to go. So we have four rooms. We have a walkway that we can walk through. Um, okay, so then the next thing that I need to do is put in the lockers. Okay, so locker there, there, and there. And then the next thing that we need is the armory. And that will go... If I can figure out how to make this thing spin... That'll go there, and there, and there. And then we need to take out this block. Let's see, this block, and this block. Okay, and then replace that with those, and then grab a cryopod. And we'll do that, and that, and that, and then we need bed okay and then we just cap this all off okay and then the crew quarters are pretty much done um I'm not sure what I want to do over here, but I'm going to need to make like a bathroom area, I think. And I could do that actually over here. So we'll do a shower. Kind of nestle this thing in the corner. Maybe like that. Yeah. I think that'll work. And then I do a bathroom. there and then we'll do another bathroom here and then another shower here okay so then we can walk into here 
So this will be crew quarters, so they can go through here. They got all the stuff that they need. They've got a pretty wide area to walk on, which will be good. And then um, I can put in a combination of desks and other things. And I think I want to make the crew quarters accessible from this side and from that side. And we'll just have this go straight through. So we're going to need uh, the three-way passage. Cross, corner, did I pass it? No, there it is. OK. So this guy here is going to go in there like that. And then um, what do I want to do for light spacing here? So I've got one, two, three. Do I do it every three or? You know what? We'll do it every three. That'll work. Uh, light. And we want to copy everything except the name. And then paste that over to here. Give us a nice warmer light. OK. And then uh, we can have another room here for something. Maybe we can put the gas management in here. I think that would be a good idea, potentially. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna have to do something for lighting in here. Of course, if I make this brighter, it'll kind of shine through the wall, as you can kind of see. Um, lighting is not that intelligent in this game. Okay, so now the question is, do I need to have more than two bathrooms and two showers on this level? I think the answer is no. But I will need some sort of way to get up to the next level. So let me mess around with this a little bit and see what I can come up with. I need alloy plate. All right, so we'll grab that. Um, can probably grab a few more, I think. We need some of those as well. All right. And then I don't know what I want to do for the entrance into this area. And I don't know if we need like a door in here. Or if these rooms over here on this side could be considered one room. That might be a thing that I could do. But uh, let's continue our focus over here for now. And then uh, I want to do a T here with a door. Or, you know, a better way to do it. Because we want to have like the most amount of room that we can for people to walk through here, right? I could put this here, maybe, or here. I think I would have to put it here. Yeah, I think that would have to go there. And then we can do our passage. 
And then we want the corner. T junction. Oh, and it's considering these things to be an airlock, which I do not want. No airlock. go. Alright, so back to this and our corner. Uh, we want this to go up like that. And this will kind of lead from here going into there. And then we still have room to get into here, into that last room. And then this aligns with our wall, which we're going to put in here. Okay, so I think that works. We have an assertive thing over here. And it's already sending drones after us, so that's fun. Um, okay, and you can see scrap floating, more scrap floating. Shadows from it anyways. Okay, so now what I need to do is continue the wall up here. And then I need to get a stairwell up into here. So let's get some stairs. And I could make them um, like small stairs, I suppose. And then that would kind of lead us up into this area. And then I could put a railing or something here. Yeah, one of these things. But not that one. Uh, nope. I think I need this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Do you mind? Rude. All right, so if I have this over here, then I could potentially take this and bring that up like that. And then, uh, do we have a three-way railing? I don't think we do. I mean, we have this, which is a graded catwalk end but you can't walk through that. So I think we're gonna have to go with this. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Because if we have a wall here, right, then really I would just need a corner to cover here and here. Okay, so that'll work. Railing, corner, go. Like that. And those are the wrong blocks. Uh, okay, there we go. And then we can build this up again. Okay, but now the thing is we need connections to get up into here. And right now we can't do that because this is set there. So what I could do is bring it up from the edge here. And then we'll put in T section, just make sure that's in there right. And then we can do curved section going up. oxygen. I uh, don't need those or that or that. Bottle. Okay. Okay, so that'll be good for our oxygen. Alright, so now from here we can bring this up 
and run it back through there and get, I guess, more of what we want in here, maybe? Sort of, kind of, anyways. I don't know. Then we can close this off going through here. Okay. And then we need to bring this up through here. All right, so let's see how this looks so far. So we're gonna go through here, go into the area. It is extremely dark in here. Um, We need passage three. Okay, so then one, two, and then a light. And then one, two, and this is supposed to be a light, but it's going to be a three way. Okay, so now from here we can go into here there we go, that looks a little better, maybe. It is extremely dark in here though. Okay, so now I need to figure out what I wanna do for light. So I think I wanna use this corner light. And unfortunately this uses up the entire block space, which kinda sucks. But with that, it is now a little less dark in here, I suppose. Uh, 49, or is it 46? I don't remember. Um, and then we'll bump this up to like five. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then we'll copy all of this stuff except for the name. And then we'll paste it that one and into that one okay so that gives us a little extra room or a little extra light I should say and then I want to do maybe like a couch or something just kind of place to kind of just chill I guess I need interior plate All right, so let's hop in here again, and then we'll put in another couch, and then over here. could potentially put in something, but it would have to be thin. So maybe like a weapon rack? How would that even look in there? And how much does that impede the door? Or do I want to change the lights around a little bit? And then put a light here, where we probably need it the most. And then, let me see, so now we have one, two, three, four spaces in between, which is not great. Um, I mean, I could always like increase the radius on this thing, but this is also gonna bleed through the walls, so I wanna be a little careful. And honestly, maybe 7.5 would be better. OK, 
Okay, and then we can do something here, I suppose, and then put a light here. And this will just be a standard interior light. Or I could do this kind of light. And that would light up this area enough, I think. And we're a little dark in here, but we can do something. So maybe we put in some planters on one. And then we can do the armory rack thing. Weapon rack, there we go. That can go here. And I'm thinking this should probably go up a little bit more. So and that's maxed out at 10. Okay, so it's a little it's a little dark, but it's not terrible. Then we have this that we can now walk through and walk up as needed. And this will take us to our second level. And then I could do more of the same here, but I'm gonna have to run this alongside there, which actually works out with that. So we're gonna go for it. Um, for now, I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping this, but we'll go with this and then go with straights going through here because I don't know which ones I'm gonna keep and which ones I'm going to get rid of for the T-sections yet. Okay, so if each room takes up two spaces and then we need our wall to be here, so that means we can't place anything here. So then if we have one room, two room, three room, four room, I think that'll work. So then that's this one gone, this one gone, this one gone, and this one gone. Okay. And we have another private sale out there. Um, I did collect three of them earlier, so I'll probably go out and get that one. Like, those are just like presents, right? And they just come out here and it's like, hey, I'm here. And it's like, gee, thanks for the parts. Appreciate it. Make sure that is in there correct. And then we'll do that, that, and that. Oh, actually, this one just needs to be a curve. Uh, like that. There we go. Then we'll do the cryopods. That's not the right place to put you. Okay, and then the beds. And then armories. I'm just trusting that's in there the right way. And then locker. And then door. Oh, problem. We can't get through here. Okay, so that means that this one has to come out. That does give us a little bit more room. I think that's in there, right? Um, over here on this side, and that's gotta come out too. I figure I can figure something out in here, I think. So maybe have like just like a general kind of area here. And then I should probably build up the walls, or at least continue the walls. All right, so
Okay, and then I might as well put on the 45s as well. And I might take out some of these and put in like some windows, like little 45 windows. That might be something that I do. And just do it with like three of them. So like this one here. And then I can figure out something to do in here. Um, I mean, we could do bathrooms, I suppose. Because those are going to be solid blocks. And they should work nicely against there. And then over here, I can do like a storage shelf or something. Like, I don't know why I would need that in here, though. Let me think, let me think. You do some planters. A little bit of green, never hurt anyone, right? All right, and then we can do that here. And then uh, as far as showers, because we're gonna need those in here too. And if I put windows in here, um, the showers have a roof, so that would be kind of pointless to put them in there. Um, let's see. Or, hang on. How am I low on energy again? All right. It's kind of funny that you can recharge through a toilet. <laughs> but hey, I'm not complaining. Okay. And then I think this goes through directly into the next room, so I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to break this wall at all. Um, I could potentially, hang on, I think I got it. Okay, so we're gonna put the showers over here. I need interior turrets or interior plates, more of them. Okay, what do we got? Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. I do need these. Okay. So I can actually use these two blocks here. So let me put in a shower over here. And then we can get a bathroom. And then we'll put a bathroom next to each shower. There we go. OK, so now we have bathroom, we have shower. Um, and then I could line the wall here with, I don't know, stuff, a table maybe, um, racks. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have some weapons in here, right? Okay, so I'll put this over here and then I'll do a locker set over here. And then I can do a desk with a chair right there. So like if you ever need to do any work or anything, you can do it. Um, okay, then we have these two block spaces available. So we could do more planters and another desk, I'm thinking. So if we do that, and then we throw in another desk over here, that'll work. And then we have these, yeah, we have these four blocks here which actually works out nicely if I want to do a small table. So if we do that, that, 
that and that. That gives us like a nice little kind of resting area. We've got a desk over here, a little table, uh, another little table over there, locker in case you need it for your shower. Um, I could put another locker here, I suppose, for this shower. But how would that look? And then do we need that railing there? I mean, I think I still want to keep that railing there. Just because it, I don't know, it just makes, makes it look better, I guess. Okay, so then we have bathroom, bathroom. And then uh, this we can do something with. Or, no, I don't think we can actually. Um, because this is the center of the ship, so we do want to make sure that we keep this relatively constant. So, let's just build this out. I have a message. Okay. Um, let's see. So now the only thing that we are going to be missing here is light. And I'm wondering if there's anything, I think that takes a full block, so I don't think that's going to work. Um, do, 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 do. And then we'll do that, and that, and that. Then we have a very, very small walkway through here to get to your rooms, which I don't actually like that much, so we are going to modify this. Okay, so I want to make sure that at least two people can walk by each other without running into each other. So we're going to cover that up like that. And then this, I'm going to take out and replace that with a two by one tip. Yeah, so now we have like a wider way to get into here. And then, uh, let me see, is there anything that I could do? Yeah, so we can take out this one here. And instead, Uh, let me see, that has to go this way. There we go. So now we have kind of like a nice little snaking little walkway type thing through here. And I think that will work. So the only bad thing though is going to be light. This is going to be extremely dark. Um, but then we do have those lights below that are going to be shining up in here, so maybe it won't be that bad. Um, but now I need to... Uh, right, so I wanted to put some windows into here. And I need girders. Do, 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 do. I only have room for nine. That's okay. Okay. So instead of having like an executive suite with like the nice big windows, I was going to put those and kind of have them go this way. Um, we just have small windows here and we have a nice little kind of common area for the crew members. And it's kind of out of the way. So like if you're just walking through um, the, the barracks or whatever, unless you go upstairs, which is only there for rooms, like you're not going to really run into this area, right? So I think I think it's like a bit more private, which is nice for the crew members because, you know, who doesn't want to have like private accommodations, right? Okay, and then we can bring this all the way over here. Okay, and then that is the crew section. 
solved. Okay, and now I can cover this up with all of this. And we'll call this section complete. So it's kind of a big blocky area, but I'm kind of okay with that. And then this is the main central passage going down the middle of the ship. So this brings us over into the jump drive room. Um, it also brings us into this little waiting room thing, but then you can take this to get into the crew quarters. So if you want like a more public sitting area, you can go in here and maybe watch a movie on the hollow table or something. I don't know. And then if you want like a more private sitting area, you can go up here and then you have like this little area that you can go with. And then I could put in a light in here, probably right there. And then we'll just copy in all the stuff and then maybe extend this out a little bit farther. 7.5, that'll get us to another block, but then that's a little dark, so maybe we'll bring this out to 10. See what that looks like. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now we have uh, weapon racks, we got desks, lockers, showers, bathrooms. This is assuming that, you know, there are doors on here and the doors do work, like especially on the bathroom, because no one wants to like sit there and look at another person, right? Okay, and then we have this area, and it is sort of lit up from the bottom. It's not the ideal way to light things, I don't think, but it'll be fine, I suppose. And then we have these rooms in here, which also have a little bit of light, which I think is going to work out nicely. So these are the crew quarters, and that is now complete. And uh, let me see, how do I want to do anything else in here? Just kind of leave that open. Um, yeah, I suppose we could leave it open for now. Apparently, my cell phone service has been renewed for the next month. Good to go. All right, so um, so this little railing right here, this little thing uses up this entire block space, which is ridiculous, but it is what it is. And then we can go down into here. We have a couple of sitting areas in here, more gun racks, in case you know they ever need their stuff. Then we have lights. Um, and then we have all of the rooms in here as well. So we've got what? Seven rooms, I think it's seven. Yeah, so one, two, three, yeah. So seven rooms, um, more than enough seating for everyone, of course. And then we have a couple of exits out of here. Um, communal bathrooms and stuff. Also, you, I think, need to go 7.5. Is that a little better? Yeah, it's a little better in here, okay. Good to go. So just kind of like a nice, nice little crew area, I think. And then this is actually straddling two blocks, which is kind of interesting, but it gives us a full block space to work with. So I'm kind of okay with that. All right, so That is it for the crew quarters, and that whole section of the ship is now complete. And then uh, in this section, I think I'm going to make this the gas section. So we'll have our H2O2 gens in here and our oxygen tanks. Um, this will be the jump drive section along with the programmable blocks, so that'll be fine. Um, then we have our kind of like spacer area, I guess. Just like a nice little kind of 
relaxing area. Then we have our main relaxing area. So this is like the bar and everything. So if you need to grab something to eat, this is where you go. If you want to just, you know, chill out, have a drink after work, it's where you go. If you're a visitor to the ship and you want to see what there is in the store or if there's any contracts available, we've got both of those things available on either side. Uh, vending machines, dispensers. So if you want your clean colas, you can get them here. Um, and yeah, and then we have our crew quarters here. Uh, the one thing that I don't have in here though is a vent. So this is completely sealed off from everything else, which is not necessarily a good thing. But I have no idea where I would even put the vent if I were to have it in here. Um, yeah, I have, I have no idea. I mean, ideally, I would... I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, but this does need a vent. Or, 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 we could put the vent out here. And then we could get rid of this one here and this one here. Then replace this with a corner. Curved corner. Okay, so now this needs to go in all three directions. So those three. Oh hey, look, there's a little design on there. It tells you where the when you're looking at it. So that goes that way behind it. Oh, well, that's fucking fancy. Look at that shit. I never noticed that before. That makes these so much easier to use. Okay, I'm good with that. And then we can do the straights going into here. And then we do the vent here. And then this vent will sort of breathe into like the entire area. All right, so then from here, uh, we can go with this piece. So then it kind of goes down and it's gonna end here, but then I'm gonna have to put something in this block space. But for right now, I think I'll just put a window in there. Energy critical. Energy critical. Okay, so that'll seal off that section. So we have these all open. Um, I'm gonna have to put a sensor in here, so that way if I or a small ship comes in here, like these will open. Um, and then this isn't gonna be pressurized in there. There's way too much volume for that. But um, we can do this. And then I think if I'm gonna have this there with a window, I wanna have this be like a section that you can kind of like overlook and kind of, I don't know, see what's going on. In case you're, you know, curious like that. And then, uh, let's see, so that section is more or less good to go. Something I'm thinking is I could put in a ladder going up here to the side, put a catwalk in here, then I can put another level of programmable blocks in here, which I think would probably be a good idea. I don't think I'm going to need them, but they can just act as like servers or something. And that uses up the block space quite nicely, I think. Okay, so that has to go... Oh, that is not in there the right way. Try again. Okay. 
And then from here, we can do catwalk with an edge. So then we can do that. OK. And then I have to figure out how to get stairs up here. Yeah, I think I, think I can make this work. Um, OK, so if I put the stairs in here right at the edge. OK, so stairs. And I need the ones. Is it on this side or the other side? It is on this side. OK. Ooh, but that's going to be hard to get up into there. Yeah, can, can I even get in there? No, I can't even get in there. OK. Um, there is a solution, though. So instead of having this, um, I go with a passage and I put in a wall instead. Come on. Why does that look weird, though? Passage two side. Is that the right one? Oh, passage three. There we go. That's one that I need. There we go. So now the railings go through, and we can walk up here if as needed. Um, OK, so let me put in these blocks so that way I can put in this block. And that will bring me up to this level, which is good. And we can build this out. OK, and then. Uh, we need the normal catwalk here. And then we need the railing. I don't know if it's this one or the other one. In fact, I can't even tell where it is. Um, no, it's the other one. So this one. Yeah. There we go. OK, so now we can walk through here on the side and get all of these ones down here, right? Or we can take this up to the top and get these ones up here. I think that'll work. OK, so that's good there. All right. And I think I think that'll be good for this episode. So we're just under an hour right now, so we're pretty much right on time. Um, and yeah, so that's what this is going to be. Um, and then we can work on the gas section next, and then we'll work on this front section, which is going to be sort of like a mezzanine and then like the command deck, I guess. We'll kind of have all that going in here somehow, somewhere, some way. I don't know. But yeah, we'll figure it out. But that's all I have for you now. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, hopefully you'll join me for the next one. So uh, yeah, that's all I got. Have a good one.